Mobile sports gambling in North Carolina could move a big step closer to being legal this week, but not everyone thinks it's a good bet for the state. WRL Sports investigative reporter Brian Murphy talked to those trying to stop the measure again. We desert values for money. What a shame. What a darn shame. That's Representative Abe Jones, a Raleigh Democrat and one of the lawmakers against the measure to legalize sports gambling in North Carolina. He and other opponents are warning that legalization could have disastrous consequences. Crime, theft, embezzlement, uh, job loss uh, in, in the home, uh, divorce, child abuse, substance abuse, and even suicide. States that have legalized sports gambling have seen an increase in problem gambling, and young men have been most impacted, says Les Burnell, the director of Stop Predatory Gambling, a D.C.-based group. It's out of control because you're not, you're not a sports fan anymore unless you have money on the game. Supporters of legalization point to betting that is already happening and the revenue North Carolina is losing to other states and offshore. Opponents say the amount of gambling will definitely increase. And it's inevitable that the, the more that gambling is legalized, the more that it's advertised, the more citizens are going to gamble. A similar effort failed in the House by a single vote last year. Opponents are hopeful they can convince enough lawmakers to thwart this year's effort as well. People understand what's at stake on this. I do think this bill can fail, um, and, and, and it should fail because it has no merit. Brian Murphy, WRAL. A House vote is expected on Tuesday.